spend some time in Rojway all the time and seeing people consume a lot of paper products without getting any value back. There's something we can add over there. If we switch 100,000 or plastic cups into paper products, you're gonna save around two tons of CO2, adding value to the customer, adding value to the, to the restaurant's owners. Everyone is getting profit from this technology. You have to keep moving, keep going, don't stop. Welcome to the Canadian SME Small Business Podcast, where we explore the strategic insights and innovative journeys of entrepreneurs that are driving change in Canada's diverse business landscape. Now, today we're diving into the unique intersection of engineering, sustainability, and groundbreaking technology in the world of food packaging. Now, in a rapidly evolving market, uh, finding creative ways to add value to everyday products, enhance customer loyalty, and build from the ground up requires both technical Promise and immense resilience. Our guest uh, today embodies the spirit of innovation and perseverance. Joining us today is Yasin Altai, a Canadian engineer, entrepreneur, and founder of Mintleaf. Yasin works at MDA, um, one of Canada's leading aerospace and satellite technology companies, where he develops advanced satellite communication systems. Originally from Iraq, um, Yasin's personal journey has been one of resilience and transformation, leading him to uh, found Mintleaf. Uh, an Ontario-based startup focused on sustainable food packaging that uniquely uses blockchain technology to reward customers. Today, we'll be discussing a lot. Uh, we, will, we will discuss Yasin's journey from engineering to entrepreneurship, explore how Mintleaf is using sustainable local production to help restaurants, and delve into how their blockchain coin system transforms packaging into a customer engagement tool. And lastly, look at the future of eco-friendly packaging and blockchain rewards in the food industry. So without further ado, let's welcome our guest, Yasin. Yasin, we're very pleased to have you on the show today. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. Very uh, pleased to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you. Yasin, as I mentioned in my intro as well, your entrepreneurial journey from working as an RF engineer at MDA to founding mm -hmm. Mintleaf is it's truly inspiring. So let's really start with what sparked this venture. Tell us what inspired you to start Mintleaf and what were the biggest challenges that you faced in the early days of building a sustainable packaging business in Canada? Well, um, as you know, like, I mean, uh, we are as a human being, we like to consume all the time, every day. So um, I used to spend some time in Rogeway all the mm -hmm. time and seeing people consuming a lot of paper products, right. like paper ball, paper bags, paper cups all the time. And I started to ask myself, hmm, interesting. People keep consuming, consuming, consuming paper stuff, paper products right. without getting any value back. Mm. So the idea came from there. Like, okay, I need to get value back from uh, these products. Like if we take a look to uh, China, they're selling air, pure air, right. in the small tanks. And so they're, they're adding value to, uh, to, to air, which is free to breathe, right? Mm. And uh, so that's how the idea came in my mind. So, okay, there's something we can add over there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's a fantastic origin story, Asin. It really highlights the dedication and mm -hmm. resilience required to build a business from the ground up while really balancing a full-time career. Now, Mintleaf's genesis is clearly rooted in applying a hands-on entrepreneurial mindset to solving tangible business problems in the real world. Now, let's just discuss how Mintleaf's local production model is bringing sustainable packaging mm -hmm. to Canadian restaurants and food businesses. Mm -hmm. um, Yasin, how does Mintleaf's local production of eco-friendly paper bottles in uh, Ontario reduce costs, mm -hmm. lead times, and ensure high-quality Canadian-made products for restaurants and food businesses? Fair enough. So... Usually, when it comes to business, we talk math, we talk numbers and values. So, if we switch 100,000 of plastic cups into uh, paper products, you're going to save around 2 tons of CO2. Wow. 
two doses of CO2, that's equals to maybe 5,000 miles driving. Mm -hmm. Just imagine how much you save and you protect the environment at the same time. Mm -hmm. so that's number one. Number two, if you look to the, uh, to the uh, time to produce paper cups, paper balls, it takes around three months to four months mm -hmm. and to ship it from China to Canada mm -hmm. or to wherever, wherever you want. So you need to spend time, you need to wait to get the products that you want. Mm -hmm. And especially when you're working in a restaurant and this sector, you need like kind of fast movements all the time. You need to get the, the printing stuff mm -hmm. for the products to show to your customers. So having machines in Canada, that is going to uh, do the shortcut from four, three months to a week, two weeks. Right. So just imagine the profit, imagine the revenue. And imagine the the boost in the system is going to happen in the uh, food packaging. Uh, moreover than that, the uh, market in Canada for food packaging is around eleven billion dollars mm -hmm. per year. Mm -hmm. So imagine how this boost is going to happen once you have I think you cut do the shortcut from four months, three months to a week to two weeks. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's a very compelling strategy, mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm. and it's clear that local production offers significant advantages in terms of cost, speed, and quality. Listeners, if you are looking for innovative ways to boost customer loyalty and stand out, then please learn from this conversation with Yasin um, about eco-friendly smart packaging that rewards customers with digital coins. Discover how to merge its sustainability with digital value for your brand. Now let's get back to your conversation with Yasin. Now let's delve into the core of your innovation, which mm -hmm. is how your blockchain-based coin system transforms packaging into customer engagement tool. Mm -hmm. uh, Yasin, a unique feature of your business is the integration of blockchain technology to reward customers through digital coins. Yes. How does this work and how does it create loyalty and mm -hmm. engagement by allowing customers to earn it through scanning a QR code on the packaging? Okay. Um, I'll try to give you like an, I would say like an outlines uh, for this technology. So usually like, you know, like when you have your, um, you go to shops drug mart or you go to like any uh, super supermarket and you scan your card to get like an a points. Mm -hmm. So it's something similar to this idea, but it's more going to be in crypto world okay. and the blockchain world. So I'll give you like simple idea or simple like example. You have paper cup, you have a QR code on it, you scan it, mm -hmm. you're the meal buyer. Once you scan it, portion of the coin goes to you and the other portion goes to the other party. If it's the restaurant owner or, or the facilitator. Mm -hmm. So they share the coin. And this coin is tradable on like, for example, any platform. Like for example, Uniswap. Right. It's like in a crypto platform. So if the restaurant owner pay $1 for this paper cup, half of the price, is going to go back to his wallet. Okay. So in long term, he is getting profit back of what he paid for his food packaging marketing. Mm -hmm. So at the end, it's a give and take. Uh, you're not losing money. And the meal buyer, it's using his coin in the future. And he also can transfer it into cash later on if he wants. So no one is losing. It's win-win scenario. Win-win mm -hmm. at the end. And uh, it's adding value also to the food packaging market in Canada. Wow. Well, that's a truly fascinating concept, Yasin. And it's clear that you're revolutionizing customer loyalty programs mm -hmm. in the food industry. We'll take a quick break. Please don't go nowhere when, because when we return, we'll dive into Yasin's personal journey and how it shaped his entrepreneurial mindset. Hey, you think you know UPS? Yeah, that's us. Everybody knows that. You know what you didn't know? This. Okay, try to keep up. Ocean, us. Ground, rail, air, so us. Guess who? Us. Customs cleared, borders cleared, done. Us, us. You still with me? Wait for it. Boom. Us. Intelligent, automated, fulfillment. Us. Yep, healthcare too. Digital your thing? Yeah, well, book it. 
ship it, track it. You feeling me yet? Yep, that's all us. That's all UPS. Welcome back, everyone. Before the break, we explored Mantriv's blockchain rewards. Now let's talk about Yasin's inspiring journey and how his experiences shaped his business vision. Now let's kind of explore your personal journey of turning struggles into strength and how it shaped your entrepreneurial mindset. Um, Yasin, your personal story is one of uh, incredible resilience and uh, constant drive to in even innovate both in your career mm -hmm. and in your business ventures. How have your experiences from leaving Iraq during war to working as a space engineer then shaped your mindset as an entrepreneur and taught you to take risks and build from the ground up? Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is when you move from country to another country, uh, you're facing struggles here and there. You have to make sure that your uh, brain can rephrase or can uh, reformat um, his thoughts and uh, he can keep going. Mm -hmm. Um, and I found out my movement from, from Iraq to Egypt to Canada, that's given me like an, I would say, an ability to uh, change my, the way I think depends on my environment. Right. Um, so, um, doing my space engineering uh, undergrad in New York University, uh, working in the space industry, and then uh, starting my own business in uh, food packaging. Um, that's helped me, like I would say, when I go back and look back to time, mm -hmm. I see like when I moved a lot to all these places, that's what's given me the push to uh, knock all the doors and see different opportunities. Right. Because if you stay in your place, no one's going to come to you. You have to go and knock all the doors. And that's once, uh, yeah, just knock the doors. Keep knock, 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 knock until someone opens the door for you. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea uh, why I'm trying to get out and see what's going on there. Yeah, That's a truly powerful and an inspiring story, Yasin. Mm -hmm. It's clear that your life experiences have forged an incredible entrepreneurial spirit and resilience for you. Uh, finally, let's look at the future of eco-friendly packaging and mm -hmm. blockchain rewards in the food industry because, Yasin, you're at the forefront of such a major shift in both sustainable packaging mm -hmm. and the customer engagement. Tell us, what is your long-term vision for Mint Leave and how do you see the future of eco-friendly packaging and blockchain rewards evolving to benefit businesses and mm -hmm. customers? Okay. So, as I mentioned to you earlier, I'm trying to add value to everything that we have front of us. I don't want to uh, people just to consume and uh, spend their money um, and throw stuff at the end. We want to uh, get value from these uh, products. So as I mentioned to you, like, I mean, um, when we're adding the crypto technology to food packaging, uh, we're adding value to food packaging, we're adding value to the customer, adding value to the, to the restaurant's owners. Everyone is getting profit from this uh, technology. Um, so at the end, the restaurant owner, when he uh, purchased like, uh, let's say 10,000, 20,000 paper cup, paper balls, um, he's not just gonna, oh, I'm gonna throw it after like, people's gonna come and buy it and then gonna throw it after they finish their drink. No, they're gonna use the, uh, the, the value of this cup in the long term. So um, it's, as I mentioned to you, like, I mean, people's gonna keep the value in their wallet. They can use it later on. Uh, they can uh, trade with different coins. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, if you get enough coin, you can buy Ethereum with it. You can buy Bitcoins if you, if you want as well. It's it's a it's a, like in a it's a big uh, I would say perspective. Right. You cannot say oh I'm just gonna buy the food packaging and then uh, that's it. I'm gonna drink the coffee and I'm gonna throw the the, the, cup. the cup. You're adding value to the cup itself. Mm -hmm. So the idea over here is to keep the value with you. When you buy something, you keep the value with you. Mm -hmm. When you buy the paper cups, you keep the value of the cup with you. And that's it. So it's like an engine and you keep the engine on mm -hmm. working. And at the same time, the value of these cups, when you buy it, you scan it, portion of the values goes to the main coin uh, value. Okay. Uh, so as, as well, you can trade it. Okay. So it's tradable, as I mentioned to you. You swap, for example, and people can buy it and sell it. So it also goes back to the, uh, to the market and mm -hmm. to the, uh, the market of the business itself, how it is. It's going up and down. How's Ethereum? Because it's based on Ethereum as well. So if Ethereum is going up, it's going up. If it doesn't go down, it's going down. It's normal. You just go with the flow. 
So uh, the idea of repackaging is to keep the value with you. You don't lose the value. That's amazing. And that's such an inspirational vision. Mm -hmm. uh, quite an ambitious one as well, Yasi. And it's clear that you are positioning Mintleaf as a leader in both sustainability and technological innovation. Mm -hmm. Now, this has been a very enlightening conversation with you, Yasi. You've kind of loved the approach that you have. Uh, it's really or clearly setting to shape the future of packaging and customer loyalty in the food industry. Mm -hmm. As we wrap up now, what's that one key piece of advice you would like to give to Canadian SME listeners about building an innovative and resilient business? Keep knocking the door. Mm -hmm. Don't stay in your place. If you're still in your place and in your, in your room, in your apartment, in your house, no one's going to come to you. You have to go outside. You have to knock the doors and to keep asking mm -hmm. and keep exploring. That's, I think, the, the idea behind it. Um, it's just physics, you know? Right. Um, even physics, like, I mean, uh, you have to keep moving to get results. Mm -hmm. So you just have to keep moving. Even if there's no results, today, wait for tomorrow, after tomorrow, after tomorrow. Try different ways. And that's what I'm trying till now, by the way. I'm not saying, like, oh, my God, I have, like, uh, 100, 200 customers. No, but, like, I mean, I'm every day I'm trying. I use my tunics. Mm -hmm. I go to customers. I knock the doors. And I go and ask them if they're interested. Mm -hmm. So I use old school. I use new school, digital as well, marketing. So uh, that's the things. Keep 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 going. Keep Don't stop. Going. Yeah. Well, that's a very yeah. powerful and actionable message, Yasin. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for okay. being on the show. It was a great pleasure having you share your expertise and your insights with our audiences. And we hope to have you back. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your time. Appreciate it. And that was an insightful conversation with Yasin Altai, the founder of Mint Leaf, on his entrepreneurial journey, the innovation of smart packaging with digital coin rewards, his personal story of resilience, and Mint Leaf's vision for local production and future growth. Thank you for tuning into the podcast. We really appreciate your continued support. Please be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more expert insights and resources that can help your business thrive. You can also visit our website, canadianesme.ca, for valuable information and tools. Special shout out to our partners before we leave, to RBC, UPS, Avon Global College, ADP, and Google for their ongoing commitment to empowering small businesses in Canada. Until next time, please keep innovating and striving for success. We'll see you in the next episode.